When should you replace your cycling shoes? When you fancy a new pair? When they're so mean that you can't really face them anymore? Or when your current ones have worn out would be the obvious answers. But how do you know when they've worn out? Clearly, if they're falling off your feet, you're gonna benefit from something new. But sometimes these things can sneak up on you. So we asked the experts from several big shoe companies for the signs that say it's time for new shoes. But before we get into their advice, a little reminder to hit like on this video if you find it useful, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more from us, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now, first up, we spoke to Jez Loftus of Trek, owners of the Bontrager brand that produces everything from wheels and components to, you guessed it, a large range of shoes. He said that he's seen shoes during bike fits that look like they've been used for running a marathon and the customer still insists that they're good to use. Usually, he says, how long your cycling shoes last comes down to a trade-off between weight and durability. A fancy pair of lightweight summer shoes probably won't last too long if you use them on a gravel ride or in winter conditions. Jez was also keen to point out that wear can depend heavily on the rider and the shape of their feet. He says that from bike fits that he's done, a rider who has mastered Suples or that lovely smooth pedal stroke where the rider applies power right the way through the pedal stroke, that we associate with track riders like Wiggins, for example, well, they'll have dialed the art of the perfect pedaling style, and that is usually very light on their shoes and kit. The chopper, and I guess Jez is talking about the likes of you and I here, uh, well, on the other hand, they will just devour their kit. So working on your pedaling technique won't just make you a smoother rider, it could also help to make your shoes last longer. So how do you know when it's time to bin one pair of shoes and buy a new pair? Peter Curran, Giro's category manager for footwear, says that it depends on the amount of riding that's being done. But road shoes, he says, should last many seasons if you avoid walking on abrasive surfaces and keep the shoes clean while also drying them properly inside and out when wet. Generally, Peter says, road shoes are used in a very specific, predictable way. Now that's unlike mountain bike shoes where riders are subject to more environmental factors such as dirt, mud, rock strikes, and even wear and tear on the sole due to hiking. This is important for us road riders because it means it's the closure system that most often fails first. Peter explained that mechanized closure systems have gotten more complex to allow a rider to customize the fit of their shoes in targeted areas. These are the most used part of the shoe and systems can wear out over time. Fortunately, he says, with the added complexity comes serviceability. So if your closure system needs repairs, parts are available and easy for a rider to install. Boa closures, for instance, which you'll find on some shoes from Giro and many other brands, like my Shimano shoes here, are guaranteed for the lifetime of the product on which they are integrated. And you can get spares for many other systems online or through your local bike shop. The sole is the other part that's most susceptible to damage. Cycling shoe soles are most often made from glass fiber reinforced nylon or carbon fiber, and road shoes don't usually have a protective layer to prevent damage when you walk. For advice on those carbon soles, we spoke to Bont. They said that if the cyclist refrains from walking over rocks and pebbles, it will extend the life of the sole. But carbon fiber is susceptible to wear like everything else. Even if you avoid walking in your lovely carbon shoes, that sole is still going to be contacted by the pedal body for every turn of your legs. Shoes, including carbon soled shoes, need to be looked after like all equipment. You wouldn't drag your bike frame across sharp rocky surfaces, so why would you do it to your naked carbon soled shoes? That said, the thought of coffee and cake has often seen me hot footing it across a gravelly car park to be first in line for the cafe queue. This is actually a chance for some solid buying advice. If your road shoes have died because you've worn out the soles through walking in them, think about replacing them with a pair of touring or mountain bike shoes that take two bolt cleats that are recessed into the soles with a tread and a bit of give. They needn't be flexy either. Um, there are a range of great cross-country mountain bike shoes that the likes of Matthew van der Poel use for cyclocross racing. And if the soles of those shoes can handle his massive power, they're gonna cope just fine with our efforts, aren't they? Back to Jez Loftus of Trek, who pointed out that you will see some soles fail across the cleat bolt holes. 
especially with shoes that are used for off-road riding. This is because they have a tougher life generally. This is something that happened to one of my cyclocross shoes, which isn't really surprising given the amount of abuse that they saw from the muddy conditions. New shoes don't just have to be about replacing something that's broken. If a shoe isn't working for you, then it can be a good idea to replace. One of the key things to look for is getting a shoe that is stiff enough to keep your feet comfortable as a stiff sole can prevent pressure points from developing over the course of a ride. Jez says that if you're doing pro mileage in a pair of nylon soled shoes, you should really think about upgrading to something stiffer, but whether they're made from carbon or nylon, the soles should last for years if you keep walking to a minimum. Now, what about the uppers? They don't have to handle the contact with the ground, not unless things go horribly wrong, but they're not made from such hard wearing materials either. Giro's Peter Current says that there can be some stretch in the uppers over time, but modern road cycling shoes don't experience the dynamic forces that other athletic footwear is subjected to. So there's much less fatigue on those uppers. Any material stretch, he said, would be from the repeated tightening of the shoes. Now, Bont, they go one step further, saying that their top models like the Vapor series, as well as the Chrono and Zero Plus, all have monocoque construction under the upper layer that stops them from stretching. It might sound like we're repeating ourselves here, but the key point that all the brands we spoke to were keen to emphasize was that looking after your shoes will make a massive difference to their lifespan. If you want to make your shoes last for as long as possible, dry them out after a wet ride by stuffing them with newspaper. Yes, the old way is the best here. This absorbs moisture while helping the shoe keep its shape. Don't be tempted to use a fire radiator or hairdryer because extreme heat can damage the materials and adhesives. Now, cool and dry storage is best for longevity. Don't leave your shoes festering in the bottom of a kit bag. Where are my shoes? They're at the bottom of my kit bag. Completely removing any overshoes you've used rather than simply pushing them down far enough to get your feet out. Removing them completely allows your shoes to dry out more quickly. The best way to clean your shoes depends on the exact materials used. So do consult the manufacturer's instructions, but in many cases, you just need to wipe off the dirt and grime with a damp cloth or sponge. Don't use strong detergent, solvents, or abrasive pads, and don't put them in the washing machine. People certainly do that and swear by this method, but although the shoes might come out really clean, you do run the risk of damaging them beyond repair. So it seems that we have some key points to look out for. Primarily cleaning and drying your shoes on a regular basis will help them last for a long time. Then avoiding abrasive surfaces like gravel and rocky terrain is a good idea for unprotected road shoes. Replacing parts that have worn can be a great way to keep your favorite kicks fresh. And finally, if you do find yourself wearing through the soles of your shoes, a switch to mountain bike shoes could be a good move. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, then we'd appreciate a like, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.